Today we'll be reviewing Servant Mage by Kay Elliott. I actually did the hardback version of this, but I returned it to the library several weeks ago, so I don't have it anymore. This book was really good. Its target audience was adults, and YA, I felt it was in the middle ground if both, both categories would enjoy it. It was high fantasy, grimdark-ish, there is an instance of a, an infant being killed, uh, and some body horror in the form of demons, but besides that, it had a traditional fantasy flair. Um, it had elemental magic, earth, air, fire, water, and heart, or ether as they called it. It had a medieval fantasy, but with kind of a French Revolution aesthetic, where in the past the mages used to rule, but then the mages were thrown down, and now the everyone else rules on top of the mages. It, has, it is LGBTQ friendly. The protagonist is probably possibly queer, but it's not really gotten into. It's a it's a little novella. Um, it's only like 150 pages, if I remember correctly, so it's short. The characters aren't really gotten into in very much depth. So yeah. I like this a lot. This is my first Kate Elliott book, and she's clearly a skilled author. If I were to point out a flaw in this, I'd say that the author put in too much plot into this, which is a good flaw to have, but I wish the author toned things down a little. We had like two to three different plot lines going on in this book, and it felt shoved in, compressed in too much of a space, too much in too small of a space. On the bright side, this meant fast pacing. On the bad side, the book never got a chance to really mellow out until the very end of the book when, the, when it slowed down in the denouement. If you are a fan of something like the Avatar The Last Airbender series. This had a similar magic system to that. It's not like martial arts, but it is. it had a similar feeling. If that sounds interesting to you, you should check it out. See you later.